2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. If it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it can only mean one thing. Welcome to Cleveland, Ohio. And thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you're enjoying your Friday afternoon. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. And they'll have some minutes to make up for with an injury in their roster. Compensating for the absence of a key player can be difficult, but they've got to hold strong. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. D.A.? Well, the ceremony was delayed, and understandably so, but at last, the Hall of Fame class of 2020 was enshrined. And what a class it was. Led by Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, and, of course, the late, great Kobe Bryant headlining the nine inductees. There was tremendous poignancy with Kobe's inclusion coming so recently after his tragic death. And it was a night that none of us are going to forget. Guys? Thank you, D.A. Hard the night, Greg. Two teams with a lot of history that know each other very, very well. And sometimes familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah. And that goes for the players, coaches, and fans. This one might get heated. I'm, I'm sure you felt that way many times when you play. Almost every time I took the floor. Good. You, you, you Good. literally want to dislike your opponent. So here's Miami's starting group. They've got Jimmy Butler. Robinson is out there with Kendrick Nunn. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Ariza in at the four slot. And for the Cavaliers, Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Okoro out there with Kevin Love. And it's Allen in at the center position. And it's Butler with the jam. Love the eye contact by Jimmy Butler and his teammate before he rolls up for that alley-oop. Allen kicks to Love. Cleveland moving it around. Pass to Garland. Six on the shot clock. Shoots it. Here's Allen. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. A superb offensive rebounder. Allen's long arms and feel for how to get positioning helps big time. Now here's Butler. And it's sent back by Allen. Here's Sexton. Love trying to break loose. And there's Sexton. That's good on the assist by Garland. Just a creative ball handler. Sexton does a really good job with his change of speeds and direction, keeping the defender off balance. Now, here's none. Stolen by Garland. Now, Cleveland moving it up. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And just solid at driving to the rim. When Sexton is on the attack, it just creates problems for the defense. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And you see the speed, the athleticism, and scoring ability of Sexton. Special. A guard with a fantastic skill set and loads of potential. And Sexton drops them both. And so just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Autobio. He can't get it to go. Or Cleveland, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. There's Garland, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Cavaliers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah. 
And so he hits both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Outside Butler. Now here's none. He's guarded close. Four on the clock. Got a piece of it. Now Cleveland moving it up. Akuro with the ball. The Heat have gone just one of four to get this game started. Adebayo passes to Robinson. And the dunk by Robinson. And right there, I like how Adebayo takes his time, scans the floor, makes the unselfish play. And you talk about guys who play with that chip on their shoulder. Bam Adebayo has not forgotten he was cut from the U.S. national team in 2019. And Greg, in fact, he told those close to him they will pay a little extra motivation. Fuel for the fire. Outside, Sexton. To the paint, here's Love. Rebound by the Heat. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. And Adebayo throws it down. Wonderful play with that long wingspan and huge hands. Otto Bio catches and finishes with ease. Now, here's Sexton. He has six. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Ariza goes in. That evens the score. And gliding to the rim there. Ariza looking graceful on that move. And so Sexton will bring it up for Cleveland. Passes it to Okoro. And the pass to Garland. Sexton with it. Shot clock at five. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Good ball movement here by the Heat. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Duncan Robinson. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. The Cavaliers have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Now, here's Sexton. Guarded closer, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Sexton's got eight points. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. And Butler, here we go. And they pick up two. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. The Cavaliers have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Allen kicks to Sexton. Back to Allen. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. And there's the patience you want to see from Sexton. Eyes up and finds the open man. Launches it. Shots good by Hero. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Pass to Autobio and slam dunk by Butler. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. And that one's good. Love. Good presence inside. Kevin Love with the composure and skill set to score with consistency on the interior. Now here's Butler. Six points for him. Yes, that goes in. His fourth make in five tries. And we're just getting started. The Cavaliers have gone 7-12 of from the field here in the first quarter. Garland, the pass to Okoro. Up against Teresa. Love kicks to Sexton. And a miss there on the triple. The Heat with the lead. Adebayo passes to Nunn. Loads it up for Adebayo. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Up the floor. And Okoro with the basket on the assist by Garland. 
Garland's got three assists in the game. And the Heat call time here. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And a new group getting ready for Miami. Achua, he's checked in for Otto Bayo. Bayalita comes in for Trevor Ariza. Andre Gudala, he's checked in for Butler. And it's Dragic in for Kendrick Nunn. Now here's Dragic. Here's Igudala. Can't get it to fall. Here's Osman. He's covered by Igudala. Wade at the elbow. Pass to Osman. There's the triple. The basket good off the assist from Wade. And now a four-point Cavalier lead. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. It's Pialita. No good that time. Nance with some nice D. There's Garland. Good defense by Igudala. The Heat trail by four. Passes to Dragic. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. He's an aggressive competitor. Goran Dragic able to finish through contact. Back to Wade. And Wade slams it in. Never a bad idea to run the old kick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Now, here's Achua. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Garland. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. And so here's Cleveland. The Heat getting the bucket. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Boy, your alma mater, UNLV, Greg, has produced some great NBA players over the years. I mean, so many great names. No, no doubt about it. Listen, I, I got a special place in my heart for my former teammates, Larry Johnson and Stacey Ogman. All right. Uh, Take a break. But also break. guys like Sean Marion. You go back to, to Reggie Theus, who was a tremendous player. And right now in the league, you got Kim Birch, uh, dunk champ Derek Jones, and an up-and-comer in, in Christian Woods. Good mentions. And Miami making a change here. Struess has checked in. And Wade drops them both. Yeah, drawing fouls and making them pay at the line. Down low. Dragic with it. The pass to Achua. The Heat need to get a shot off. No good that time. Good D by Wayne. Knocked loose and stolen by Bielita. Achua, nice persistence to tip it back up and in. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip in. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Now, here's Garland. Wade kicks to Osman. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Heat. 
trailing by four. The dunk by Achua. Yes, sir. Pretty tall point guard. Goran Dragic sees the entire floor. Terrific look. Osman, the pass to Wade. And it's Wade with the jam. Oh, the one-hand tomahawk, guys. Somebody's going to get their feelings hurt. Yeah, that they got the entire bench up right there as they saw that. And out of their chairs. Achua. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Nance. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The Heat shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. That one is off. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Cleveland. And he can't hit the second. Cleveland leading by four. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And the game plan is clear. Work the ball inside. The Cavaliers shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. One shot. Throw good, Garland. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Stolen by Garland. And now the fast break, Garland with the ball. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Not just hanging out on the perimeter, Prince showing his versatility and can challenge you at the rim. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Here's Dragic. Six to shoot. Looking to end the run. They'll, they'll get another chance. Effort play pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. We've got more in store for you right after this. Yeah, so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disrupted. Winning the turnover battle here early on, and you see that reflected in the score. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. And so in the game for the Cavaliers. Hands out there with Torian Prince. Then there's Garland. And it's Windler in at the two guard. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs. That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how about Kobe going to the Lakers. Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Heat trail by nine. Dragic left side. Nance with some nice D. And here are the Cavaliers now. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Here's Prince. Oh, that's blocked. And Bialica kicks to Dragic. Bialica inside. 
Wade is covering. The Elitza with the bucket. Violetza's got six. Garland the pass to Nance. The shot that time, not on target. And it's Miami the other way. Now here's Dragic. There's the lob to the hoop, and he lays in the alley-oop. Good setup by Gorn. Keeps himself under control, makes the right decision. Now, here's Garland. He's guarded by Dragic. It's blocked. They retain possession. Just five on the clock. Here's Garland. The Cavaliers again can't hit. The Heat trail by five to the inside. The Elitza. And then some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Substitutions here. So it's the Cavaliers now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Allen. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And his teammates love this. When Allen is aggressive trying to score, really puts pressure on the opposing defense. The Cavaliers have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Shooting two. That free throw good from Allen. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. And Allen drops them both. And none has got the ball here for the Heat. It's a five point game. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And they call an illegal screen here. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Now, here's Sexton. He's got 10. Allen kicks to Sexton. Here's Love, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul goes against Miami. I remember back at the combine, teams were worried about Kevin Love's athleticism. Then he went out and surprised everyone and ended up getting drafted fifth overall. First one falls for him. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall by the New York Knicks and then second overall by the Grizzlies in the expansion draft. So you've had a very unique view of being in that position in two different settings. Yeah, I mean, two very different cities, but really each beautiful in its own way. Uh, the, the New York draft, obviously coming out of college, that was like a dream come true to go and play for Pat Riley. And, and then get the opportunity to go and be a part of a brand new team in a new country, if you will, was also a, a really cool experience as well. I hope we can take a petition started by you and me to get the NBA back in Vancouver. I miss and going Seattle, to right? Let's get back oh, in and both Seattle. those cities. Exactly. Exactly. Now, here's Okoro. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. That's in. 
That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Sexton on the wing. Ten points for him. It's good. That basket, he's now five for nine. And although Sexton is slightly undersized, he plays with great physicality and aggression. Nice finish there off contact. Now here's Butler. Ten points for him. And out of Io throws it down. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Here's Sexton. He's got 12. And slam dunk by Allen. When you have an elite wingspan like Jared Allen, you make those alley-oops look easy. Here's Butler. Crystal blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And, and as much as he commands attention on the court, Jimmy Butler content to skip the spotlight when he's off it. You know, G.A., nothing has come easy in his career for Jimmy Butler. All he does is puts his head down and works and works and oh works. God, and because me. of that work ethic, he has become an all-star. Love watching his progression. Now, here's Okoro. Allen outside. Now, here's Okoro. Tight defense on him. It's hauled in by Hero. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Back to none. Four on the shot clock. Here's Butler. That one a little long. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good for Makoro. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Osman's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. The Heat trail by six. Hero passes to Autobahn. And it's Butler with the jam. And once Butler gets cooking, look out. His guys need to keep getting it to him. Sexton against none. And here's Love for three. That shot, no good. And the Heat going the other way now. Here's Hero. And he jams it with authority. The athleticism plus the mobility. Tyler Hero is someone who drives well inside. Here's the floater. And the layup good by Sexton. Sexton's got four this quarter. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Autobio passes to Hero. And the shot is good. They are just killing him on the interior. Cleveland's gone 0-2 from Dieter in the second. Pass to Osman. Allen outside. Here's Love. Nails the baby hook. Love's got six. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Andre Gudala. He's checked in for the Heat. None against Sexton. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. The Heat shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. Yeah. 
And that free throw, good from none. Oh my gosh, I just got that. And so, Sexton will bring it up for the Cavaliers. A shot, no good. Good defense by Iguodala. And there's a call on Jetty Osman. That is his first foul of the game. Miami trailing. Here's Hero. He has seven. Here's Butler. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Here's Sexton. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Such a menace close to the rim. You got to respect Sexton's fearlessness when he's amongst the bigs. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Wound up shooting 85 from the line a season ago, which is an exceptional percentage. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Harry Nance has checked in for Kevin Love. And Sexton drops them both. The Heat trail by three. Outside Butler. Cavaliers with the rebound. And Sexton has it in the corner. And another miss by Cleveland. Heat shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. And Butler gets it to go. One of Butler's signature moves, drive, then convert off contact. None against Sexton. Lock at six. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Sexton's got 18 points. A dangerous score from mid-range. Sexton loves to take that shot when he gets it in rhythm. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Here's Osman. Timeout called the Cavaliers. comes in for a curl. The Heat also changing it up. Biel Ipsa comes in for Buck. And it's Trotic in for Kendrick Nunn. Bucket is good. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. The Heat trail by three. Has the Biel Ipsa. Trotic taking his time here. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Wade finds Sexton. Now, here's Garland. He's guarded by Trogic. Now, here's Garland. Not a lot of room. And that one, good. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. And stolen by Sexton. And there's Garland. That's good on the assist by Sexton. And now a five-point Cavalier lead. And here's Dragic. We've got 148 left to play here in the half. 
something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. It's Pialica, and there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Cleveland gets called for the foul. The Heat have gone two of four at the free throw line. Two shots. Free throw good from Bielitsa. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Windler's checked in. And he makes both free throws. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Now, here's Sexton. He's got 18. Wade passes to Winlow. That one misses. And I'm sure next time he sits down, coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged and everything has to be earned. You know, we, we've seen this with Sexton in college and he can get into a zone and just take over a game offensively. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. Here's Sexton after the made shot from Goran Dragic. Now, here's Sexton. He's tightly guarded, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And because of the combination of strength and blazing speed, Sexton can get to the line at a high rate. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Sexton at the line for two. Shooting two. The first one falls. Robinson's checked in for Andre Igudel. And Sexton drops them both. Thank you, Cleveland! The Heat trail by three. The shot and game clock separated by four. Robinson dishes to Dragic. Nice job down low. Dragic has got six points in the quarter. Absorbing the contact, finishing the play. Dragic has that great body control. Robinson with the block. One second left. No good that time. Colin Sexton, you can tell he's feeling it tonight. And guys, has been the driving force for the Cleveland Cavaliers. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? Much different. Um, I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. <laughs> well, it is a unique style, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? Colin Sexton having an outstanding game. He ended up with 22 points, four assists, and one steal. He's been a different player than he was in their last outing. When he was off his game, he's rounded back into form tonight. Kenny, your thoughts. How are the Cavaliers playing? The differential is the free throw attempts. And that's one of the big stories in this game tonight. They were being so aggressive and so smart that all they could do on the defensive end was foul. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? I think it was their passing that's kept them in the game. 
You can see it in their assist numbers. They were very, very unselfish. The ball moving from side to side. Guys making good cuts. It's enabled them to create a lot of chances. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Colin Sexton having a dominant impact in this game. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's who Eric Spolster is starting the second half with. Pam Adebayo is out there with Trevor Ariza, and there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Kendrick Nunn, and it's Robinson in at the two. Here's Nunn, Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Now here's Butler, he's guarded closer, and that one clearly a foul, gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's on Jared Allen. Jimmy Butler used his body and muscle well to get the foul call. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Take a break. Solid Take work break. at the line Two a season shot. ago. 83% on his opportunities. First free throw is good. He's not like a lot of superstars. Jimmy Butler will call you out if you're on his team. All he wants to do is win. And so Butler nails both of them. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Cavaliers leading. Love outside. Bobbed up there for Love. It's stolen by Ariza. To the middle, here's Butler. Oh, oh wow! He went. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Explosiveness by Butler. Leaping way off the ground for that dunk. Now, here's Garland. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He's made all five of his attempts at the line so far. And worth mentioning, guys, the free throw percentage he's brought in from last season. How about 88%? And the first one drops. He's perfect from the line this time. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Outside, Robinson. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Back to Nunn. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Nunn's got the lead up to two now for Miami. Great floor awareness there by Jimmy Butler. Sensing one of his guys is open and gets it to him. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. The emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Akoro wide open. He fires. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Outside Butler. Ariza kicks to Robinson. Passes it to Nunn. Garland with the rebound. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Oh, wide open look for Love. His three-pointers off the mark. 
For Miami, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And there's the pass to Nunn. Count it, and the foul. Darius Garland picks one up. Three out of four coming out of the half. Showing good execution on the offensive end. The Heat have shot 75% at the stripe, six of eight. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Sexton. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Sexton's got 24 points. You know, you got to respect Sexton's scoring ability. The closer he gets inside, the more effective he is. None wide open. And again, Miami with the triple. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. Garland, the pass to Love. Here's Sexton, and Sexton slams it in. How about the leaping ability there on the slam? I well, love how Sexton just rises up with confidence inside. Now, here's Butler. 21 points in the game, and Adebayo throws it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. And the Cavaliers call time here. You look at Jimmy Butler. He's really been playing well. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Now, here is Robinson. Pass to Buck. Allen with the rebound. Now, here's Okoro. Defended by none. To the right side. Okoro shot is off. And here are the Heat. They're on a 15-6 run. None passes to Autobio. Ariza trying to break loose. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Nice shot from Bam there. Embracing any opportunity he gets to score in close. And Love with his second chance points. Love's got eight. Challenging the defense at the rim. Something he does very well. Excellent tip in. Outside, Robinson. Pass to Butler. Over Prince. And there's another one for the Heat. Jimmy Butler, great feel for the mid-range game. And it's where his jumper's most accurate. Here's Allen, and it's Allen slamming it down. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. It's a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Ariza, right side, over Love. Ariza, no luck. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Here's a Okoro. The shot comes out. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Here's none. But they get it back. Torian Prince saying, not on my watch. Spectacular D. Butler kicks to Adebayo. Five on the clock, inside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. The 
Buddy Osman, he's checked in for Kevin Love. Andre Igudawa is checked in for the Heat. Hero comes in for Robinson. Goes up off the inbound. Again, Adebayo missing. The Cavaliers trail by six. Garland, the pass to Okoro. Now, here's Garland. Tight defense on him. Just five to shoot. For the three, Okoro shot is off. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, man, just beast mode on the glass there. He was not going to be denied on that play. Back to none. To the paint. Shots good from Butler. Butler's got eight points in the quarter. The physical abilities of Jimmy Butler, wow. Using his power and speed to make plays inside. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. in for Miami. Rogic comes in for Kendrick Nunn. Pass to Garland. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. Heat ball. Outside Dragic. Butler against Allen. The kick outside to Butler. Butler missing again. The Cavaliers trail by six. Windler the pass to Allen. Here's Osman. Clock at four. A second chance effort and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Such a force as Allen goes to the line. A, a real throwback. Jared is a center who primarily operates near the hoop. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. Wow, they made every free throw here in the second half. Outside Dragic. Hero passes to Butler. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. That's riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. The Heat have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. One shot. The free throw drops for Buck. We're still oh waiting God. for that first miss from the line this half. Windler, the pass to Allen. He kicks it to Garland. 
And there's the call on Precious Achua. That will be foul number five on him. Oh, my goodness. His fifth foul. One more, and he's done for the evening. The Heat making a switch here. Violates is checked in. Here's Windler. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Harlan with it, and it's Iguodala picking him up. Just five on the clock. Here's Allen, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. The Heat leading by five. Here's Hero. He's got seven. There's the pass to Achua. Here's Hero. Here's Trogic. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Goran Dragic has developed that beautiful teardrop, making himself a more versatile scorer. And Goran Dragic, last season, coming off the bench for the first time in his eight years in the league, really excelled in that six-man role. He did. He's a guy who creates his own offense. He's also a guy who can organize the reserves and keep things flowing. All about finding ways to continue to flourish, and he did it. That free throw, no good. And the Heat making a change here. Struess is checked in. And he ends up missing both free throws. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize on those shots. You don't see that often. Pass to Iguodala. Down low. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. The Heat have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. And Cleveland making a change here. Sexton's checked in. One shot. Cavaliers trail by 10. Here's Osman. To the middle. Here's Allen. It's good again in an excellent 7 for 8 shooting night so far. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. And the whistle blows. He's fouled on a shot that misses, but not by much. Two free throws nonetheless coming up for him. Iggy is so creative down low, just overwhelming the defense with his athleticism. Super two. The free throw drops for Iguodala. And some controversy last season. Andre Iguodala traded to the Grizzlies. We know he didn't report, Greg, just stayed in the Bay Area until a trade could be worked out to Miami. I'd call that a power move, Kevin, no doubt. I Iguodala, a respected vet, wanted to play for a contender, and he got an extra year and $15 million in the deal. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The charity stripe is far from the strongest part of Iggy's game, but he will hit him in crunch time. Sexton kicks to Allen. Here's Osman. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the strike. Thank you, and it's Dragic with the ball for the Miami Heat. Wow. 
130 left to play in the third. Shot clock at five. Here's Cruz. A three-pointer off the mark. The Cavaliers trail by eight. Pass to Wimbler. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Nance passes to Sexton. Hits the three-point bomb. Sexton's got seven now in this quarter. You know, the timing, the rhythm. I'm a big fan of when Sexton can just catch and shoot. He took the opportunity when he saw it. And the Heat lead by eight. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Miami's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Kevin Love's checked in for the Cavaliers. The Heat also changing it up. Adebayo is checked in for Iguodala. And Trevor Ariza has subbed in for Bialica. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Oh my gosh, I just got that. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the third. This is it to Osman. Here's Windler. Sexton up top. And the foul on Larry Nance Jr. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Into the heat. Duncan Robbins. Hey, yo, right here. Love against Adebayo. Outside Dragic. Can't get it to fall. Jimmy Butler has been on display for Miami. A grand total of 28 points for him in the game now. They have no answer for him defensively. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I got a lot of chips. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. The Heat leading by 10. Hands in love are the bigs. Cohen Sexton is out there with the coral. And it's Osman in at the three. So that's who's on the four for the Cavaliers. Now here's a coral following the miss by Trevor Ariza. Shooting for Cleveland, Isaac Okoro at the line for two. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Thank you, Cleveland! Miami leading by nine. Outside, Robinson. Misses the three. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. A nice shot by Okoro. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Robinson passes to Autobio. And the dunk by Robinson. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. 
It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. For Miami, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And out of Bio throws it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. To the inside. It's stolen by Adebayo. Ariza outside. Robinson against Sexton. It's Ariza on the wing. Cavaliers with the rebound. Love's got four rebounds in this game. Uh oh, Nance in position. Hammers the alley oop through. And hard to decide which was better the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley oop. Now, here's Ariza. And he gets it to go. Ariza's got the lead up to 11 now for the Heat. A strong finisher around the rim. Ariza with the size to do some damage. Adebayo against Love. Here's Sexton. That's in there. Love with the assist. Sexton's got nine points here in the second half. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Heat. And the Heat call time here. for Jetty Osman. Butler, he's checked in for the Heat. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Goran Dragic. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. During that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Down the stretch, this is when they need him the most, and he is delivering. Down low, it's stolen by Adebayo. Now the pass to Nunn. Ariza, right side. Pass to Adebayo. Six to shoot. Nunn kicks to Robinson. Double team on Adebayo. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Garland, the pass to Love. Now, here's Garland. Defended by none. Shot clock at six. And Kendrick Nunn is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Here is Nance. Pass to Garland. That's good. It's his seventh made basket in 14 tries. That's their third straight make off an assist. Now, none. He dishes it to Butler. Wallace with it. Now, here's Okoro. Over none. Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Now, here's Ariza. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Outside Robinson. Back to none. Portland with the rebound. The Cavaliers trail by five. Inside. And there's Sexton. That's good on the assist by Garland. Sexton's got six points in the quarter. Nunn 
looking around. And here's Nance. Garland kicks to Sexton. Now here's Akoro. He's guarded closely. And trying to break loose. No good with the layup. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And his competitiveness showing through, that's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. And Cleveland making a change here. Allen's checked in. One shot. Throw good, Ariza. Oh my gosh, I just got that. The Cavaliers trail by six. Garland, the pass to Nance. And here is Allen. And Kendrick Nunn is going to pick up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. against Robinson. Sexton kicks to Garland. Five on the clock. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Miami leading by six. Puts it up for Adebayo. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Sam is cooking right now. Once he flips this switch, he's tough to slow down. Passes it to Allen. Dishes to Garland. Floats one, and good that time. Garland's got four points in the quarter. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Now, here's none. That's a two from Butler. Cavaliers with the rebound. Allen's got 14 rebounds tonight, going after. Left side, Nance. Second shot opportunity. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. None finds Butler. A three-pointer no good. He's kind of lost his way this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Stolen by Okoro. And Okoro throws it down. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. But the truth is, those type of plays are going to happen. You just have to regroup mentally and get back to work. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Miami's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Robinson dishes to a reason. Five to shoot. Butler on the way. Yes! And the foul! It goes on Isaac Okoro. Responsibility all on Jimmy Butler. He stepped up to the plate on that one. The Cavaliers trail by five. And the Cavaliers call time here. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Kendrick Nunn. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. That's tipped. In transition, here comes Miami. Loads it up for Adebayo. Hammers the alley-oop through. 
absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Sexton gets deflected, and they hit it back. Here's none. Outside Robinson. Outside Butler. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Isaac Okoro. The physicality of Jimmy Butler poses so many issues for defenders. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. Kevin Love's checked in for the Cavaliers. And Miami with a change here, too. Goran Dragic is checked in for Kendrick Nunn. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Job well done at the line on that possession. They'll make things a little easier on themselves if they can convert both. Here's Sexton, and stolen by Ariza. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Ariza's got the ball. Excellent tee there from Allen. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Offensive rebound, kicks it to Okoro. Trains the three-pointer. Okoro's got eight points here in this quarter. Textbook feed from Allen, a big man who helps facilitate the offense. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're up by four. 119 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Goes in, doesn't get it to drop for him. The Cavaliers trail by four. Okoro passes to Sexton to the paint. He shoots again. It's not going to go for him. Now the Heat take it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. Miami no good on that time either. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. And he has brought them to within two points. Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Of that dish down low. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. And even if they make it, they need an immediate foul no matter who catches the ball. Throw good, Garland. And that technical foul changes the complexion of this one. Now, just a one-possession game. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're behind by three. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Timeout called the Heat. They lead by one. There's 25 seconds left in the game. left here in the fourth quarter and they go to the intentional foul take a break take a break two shots right on the first and that will put them up by two So both free throws are good, and it's a three-point game. Huge shots. Tremendous job stepping up in a big way for them at the strike. Sexton attacking. And Adebayo sends it down. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. Two shots. Shoot two. free throw is good and that gives them a four point cushion Bam Adebayo has been fairly solid from the line throughout his career and he hits both free throws here so now it's a five point game and, and that's curtains for him some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out it's stolen by Dragic and so it's the Heat winning this one this was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy, you have become a star in this league, big part of the team. Have those expectations put more pressure on you individually? Uh, no, no pressure. I think I'm going I'm to do what I do each and every night. I'm not going to play well every night. But I just got to focus on me, this team, and worry about the outside influences. A real leader, Jimmy. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge.